Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday evening. Um, did a little work today. Didn't do a lot of recording. Um, ooh, mosquitoes are starting to come out. But I'll kind of show you where kind of left off. So the road is there. That's pretty much done. We cleared out these trees and there's another rock pile that was left from when they clear, originally cleared the property, or at least where the house is. So I'm working on that there and kind of doing some just rough grading on this end of the house. This is the side that the deck is going to be on in Jody's temporary garden. But since we're no longer using this, we started to pulling some of the gravel off of it and putting that down where it needed it and starting to grade this down to its what it's going to be. Um, eventually that'll go down and down into those trees. Can't see it now. It's the trees are in the way or the scrub trees are in the way. There's a, there's a, that's where the pond is going to go. But I brought in a few, a couple loads of dirt up here, try to level this off and then starting to slope instead of being, I mean, you can kind of see how that is more of a quick drop off. And this, um, brought in two loads here just to kind of bring it down and give it a nice slope down to the pond. I mean, that's basically where this whole direction is gonna focus down to the pond. So outside of that, that's pretty much all we did today. Um, but we'll keep working on it. Uh, I'm gonna be off tomorrow, Saturday. I'll have the whole day to get things done around here. So that's our kind of our plan. But for now, I'm gonna kind of, tennis ball. I'm gonna call it a night and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh well, guys, it's we're on to Saturday. We're about I don't know. It's about midday Saturday. Figured I'd show you some progress of where things are at. Um, we're up by the house here doing some work. I did not start the shelving like I was thinking I was gonna. Instead, let me turn the camera around. So as most of you remember, or maybe you couldn't tell with all the stuff, but those that have been up here know how steep of a drop this is. So there's no way I could even have got down with the loader at all on this. It was just too steep. So we just been kind of digging it out. I'm going to get this graded off and this is going to go down to where we're going to dig in that pond. Um, it'll be a spring pond. It won't be an all season. I mean, eventually, hopefully maybe it'll, if we grade enough towards that, that when slope towards it, maybe it will be. But at this point, we're just kind of uh, making it a spring pond to have some um, some water feature, but we're gonna get to this thing needs to be built up quite a bit So I'm gonna have to bring in quite a bit more dirt just to get it to where it's gonna be comfortable to mold But I mean you can see how much I'm dropping off already you know, it's <laughs> it, It's been it's been quite the work to get it this far But that's okay. This is gonna be more yard um, And we're gonna leave those trees there and eventually we'll we'll fill in here a little bit come down I want to have it so that these trees here, so basically from here, I want to clear this all out all the way to where these pines start here. So this area I want to clear out and be able to mow it and have it be so that you can see the house when you come up from the driveway. Um, but I got to clear some brush that I pushed up into a pile and I got to push it even farther to get it out of the way because we're kind of where those that big boulder is is going to be the start to our pond area um, just so that I can level it off and then start digging down and then make the bowl for the pond so it'll take a little bit but that's okay we're gonna get working on that and that's kind of what my plan is gonna be for today I figured I'm gonna work on that since the weather's nice we got a little time to work on the shelving um, and I can do that on a, on a rainy day I just got to mill it up on the sawmill so I figured I'm just going to plug away at some dirt while it's dry and we're not dealing with rain and, wet and it's muddy if I can get this done because it tends to have a little bit more rain in the fall. So, But that's kind of what we're going to be doing today, guys. I'll try to get some video of it here and uh, we'll keep you posted. Hey guys, back Saturday evening. Got quite a bit done today. Um, tripping over rocks. I'll show you what we got. We get to start. We got this hill done. Right, let's flip the camera around. 
So that hole is gone. Or the drop off is gone, I should say. So we got a nice grade, something we can actually mow and keep, you know, trimmed down and and then got the start of the pond down there. And we'll continue. We're gonna I'm gonna continue taking that dirt and using that for filling in around the yard and stuff instead of taking from the driveway. Just because I wanna I wanna make this a runoff area for most of our stuff. So this this will eventually hopefully be um, a, you know springtime pond, hopefully full year pond once we can get some stuff down to keep it from you know soaking into the ground. But that's gonna be it for for today, Saturday. I didn't record much. Um, mainly because it's just it's just a hard angle and it's it's at a stick and sleep slope and and I'm by myself. Jody's down visiting Chloe and her grandson Cameron, so I just figured it, it's just easier for me to just to keep plugging away and trying to keep moving the camera, especially when I'm at a slope like that. So, but we'll do a little bit more tomorrow and Monday, and then that'll probably be it for this video. Hey guys. Sunday night after work, tripping on a rock. But we're gonna uh, hold off doing some dirt work for today. I'm gonna spend the next couple nights, I think, working on that shelving like I was plan originally planned. So, but I got to get some two by fours, and so I got these logs. I'm gonna mill up and see what I can get out of them for two by fours, if I can get any. You know, I'll get a few, but we'll see what we get. But that's kind of my plan. Sawmill is a little overgrown. Hey guys, evidently I forgot to start the camera as I rolled everything on and got everything set up. But I got three two by fours cut, ready to go. So I'm gonna get these off the sawmill and I'm gonna continue working on these. So I'm gonna need quite a few two by fours for the shelving. I'm not real worried about if they shrink or not or any of that stuff because it's just going to be shelving. It's nobody's, I mean, it's not going to be really anything major that's going to need to be exact or precise. So if they shrink a quarter inch, then that's fine too. But just all rough cut, you know, uh, inch and, well, it's about inch and three quarter by um, just over three and a half, probably three and three quarter inch material. Is about where it ends up being milled and it'll shrink a little bit from there so it'll be a, more like your typical off the shelf you know two by four that's inch and a half by you know three and a half so but i'm going to keep working on that and hopefully this time i'll record
reason I shut it off is I got to fill the water jug. And it lubricates. I'll kind of show you here. Let me grab the camera. So that, I mean, for those that don't know on the sawmills, you got to have some form of lubricant. So they use water. And so what it does, it feeds down into this tube. Which, get sawdust on it right now. Which is kind of hard to see right now because it's all full of sawdust. But right there, that tube comes out on top of the blade. And that's what lubricates it as it goes through. But I gotta fill that. So that's next on the agenda. Hey guys, welcome back. Monday evening. Got uh, some more done on the sawmill. Everything off the ground, but I broke a blade. But before that, I got, you know, I got around 35 boards roughly um, milled out. Two by four is ready to go for the shelving unit. So that should be a good start to get me going until I get done. But I'm a little, I'm just disappointed. I've gone through. I think I ordered a, I forget how many in a pack of blades. I ordered a pack of blades from Woodmiser and I've backed the tension off on them and, and uh, to where they're spinning a little bit, then tighten them down and they just break. It seems like I get, you know, maybe, I cut up maybe three logs, four logs at the most and it snaps. And I mean, well here, I mean, there's, Already one, two, three, four blades sitting here in my garbage pile that are that are broke. And you know, on this like this one here, it's kind of hard to see with the weeds in the way. This one here, this is the weld. So some of them are breaking where they weld it. Some of them are just breaking. So you know, they offered me ordered it they offered me different blades than I originally wanted because I wanted to get the same as what I had in there but they didn't have them so they offered a discount some other some other blades and I don't think they're as good as the blades I original the blades I really originally had on the sawmill mosquitoes are coming out so I got to replace that blade I got more in the shed but the mosquitoes are just getting too horrendous to to keep working on it so I think that's going to be it for this week but I'll take one more show you one more view here kind of how things look here. I mean, there's the road, there's the shed. I got this pile of rocks and boulders to move. Got some junk in the yard I gotta get, that's left from the previous owner that gotta get scrapped and thrown in a burn pile. But we're getting there. But then I got this all ready to go and landscaped. I gotta do some fine grading and raking on it just to get some of the lumps and clumps and rocks out of it. And then we're going to throw some seed down on this. So this will be all done. And 
we're gonna kind of continue to work from that, as I was saying, to dig that down a little bit more and keep going with it straight across. It'd be narrow, kind of an elongated narrow um, pond. It fills up in the springtime. Eventually, I know there's stuff you can buy to put down. Ow, mosquito. You can put down on the ground to keep the water from soaking up. It kind of seals the bottom of the dirt or the top of the dirt at the bottom of the pond. But I don't know what that costs or what that all entails. I've just seen it done and I heard people talking about it. So that is something we'll probably look at eventually. But if until we're done digging over there, you know, until that's all being done digging, we're done stealing dirt from over there and then we get it all sloped and, and uh, you know, bowled up like we want. I don't, I'm not going to worry about putting anything down because we're still going to be running back and forth across it. We're going to be digging dirt out of there. And uh, we'll probably line this tree line edge on the left side of what you're seeing here with rocks and boulders just to give it a nice rock finish on that edge. And on the, the right side, you, it's kind of hard to see, but right before the dirt, I started sloping it. So it gets down and it actually slopes back up out of the bowl. So that edge will be a nice gradual slope. This edge coming from the house will be a slope right down into it so that it's nice and transition. So as the water comes up, you don't have a big drop off or nothing like that, but we're gonna seed all the way down to it and just keep it mowed until the water comes back up. But I wanna get dirt out of there and then eventually once Jody gets her flower bed done or her permanent location for her flowers, we'll get them moved and then we'll grade that off and slope that down too so that it contours down to the pond and doesn't have that drop off edge that we dug out. So, But that's gonna be it for this week, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please uh, like and subscribe. It helps us grow our channel. And we will see you next week.